the first thing that went through my mind when I heard that Michael Jackson died was, man, he wasn't very productive after Thriller. Four CDs since 1982? That's almost a CD every seven years. Now here's a guy who could have made a few more good records and a hundred more dance moves, but instead he's fooling around with kids and bubbles the chimp at Neverland. Somebody close to him should have said, hey Mike baby, let's stop making stupid news and get in the studio. Marlon Brando, same thing, wasted talent. After 1979's Apocalypse Now, how many great movies did he make before he died in 2004? That's not a rhetorical question. The answer is none. Somebody close to him should have said, Hey, MB, let's stop eating a gallon of ice cream every four hours and get off this island and throw away that screenplay for Dr. Moreau. After In Cold Blood, Truman Capote was never the same writer. Wasted talent. Which brings us to this. What does a genius do after they've turned the world upside down? Really, how high could Brando go after Streetcar? Now, I'm not going to pretend I know the working mind of a so-called genius, a word we like to throw casually around these days, but there are many alternatives. Staying productive is one of them. Woody Allen, Bob Dylan, Neil Young, they get it. Maybe they get it a little too much. They bang out new work every year. And Shakespeare definitely got it. Some people, yours truly included, might say, Hey, Woody, take a few years off. You deserve it. But who am I but a fan? And everyone knows that the true artist is never in it for the fans. They're in it for themselves. Which leads us back to this. Did Jackson, Brando, and Capote fail to understand that they may have been more content had they been more productive? Did anyone say to Michael Jackson, Hey, Mike, baby, you're never going to surpass Thriller, but ending up like Elvis isn't the way to go either.